Hi, Sean Botley here with Clear Technologies. I'm a senior IT consultant. I'm based out of Dallas, Texas, and I'm a recognized IBM champion. And this is another demonstration of using the CLEZ update tool to actually perform a cluster upgrade from 7.2.1 to the latest version of 7.2.3. Now, this isn't just simply a repeat of the previous demo from 721 to 722, even though the process is similar. Um, I'm now sitting in July of 2019, and 723 has been out since the end of 2018. And the reason why there wasn't a demo on performing this upgrade this way sooner is it simply did not work. If you look at my note down here that says, if you have the PowerHA 723 ISO that was released any time prior to the June re-release, do not use it for CLEZ update upgrades specifically. During the process, it actually stops the CL column D daemon in the middle of the install, which of course breaks the communication to the remote node in the cluster, and the install halts and fails at that point. So now they have re-released the install image, and it works. So I do have details on the CLEZ update tool itself in another demo to give you more details. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and just show some additional resources. There's always a bunch of red books on PowerHA. Uh, use the system mirror wiki for most information, documentation, red books, white papers, and of course uh, these demos. So I'm going to flip over to my pre-recorded demo. Here we go. So it's my two-node cluster, DB2 and web. My cluster is up and running and it's stable. The top is actually hosting the production. DB2 owns the resources. So. What I have here is I actually have my 723 install images NFS mounted to both nodes in the cluster. So the first thing I'm going to do is run a preview install and make sure it doesn't complain about anything. Now in my previous demos, I used the, the NIM method and that can and should still work. I just decided to not show NIM this time and just show it uh, doing a local install. So the preview came back fine. Now I'm running the capital A flag to actually tell it to perform the upgrade. So what this does is it actually performs a non-disruptive upgrade in a controlled fashion for you. So you'll see here it actually stopped the remote node first that's not hosting the resource group. So since it's not hosting, it actually does a normal CL stop and takes that node offline. There's no reason to stop it unmanaged because it doesn't have a resource group that it owns anyway. So now that it's down, it's actually performing the updates on the remote node. Now, I did pause this a few times while I was actually running the upgrade to you know, make this demo a little bit shorter. So you can see it actually, there was a moment in time that the cluster manager went away because it was blank and now it came back to STNIT. So the upgrade has finished on web, so it's actually restarting the cluster. Now, since, since one node of the cluster has been upgraded and the other one hasn't, it's normal that it won't run a cluster verification because it detects that there's two different versions running. And what I highlighted there was an event serial number. That's actually a new feature that's in 7.2.3 that helps aid in troubleshooting, uh, finding stuff in the events. So web actually rejoined. So now it's actually stopping DB2 in the unmanaged state. You can see here it says unmanaged mode. Now my status says that it is unmanaged. And now it's going to perform the same updates on DB2. Now my actual total, if you actually watch the clock on the bottom screen from the time that we started, uh, we started probably four or so minutes ago, four or five minutes further back than what it says. This entire process took me probably about 11 minutes um, from start to finish. So it's still applying the updates on the primary node. And we'll wait for this a second. 
There we go. Same thing. So it finished. Now it says I'm going to start with the auto mode. So it automatically starts the resource group. Now I'll let this finish and then I'll share a little bit more information. So you see it coming back online and it is stabilized. And it's now online and the upgrade is technically completed. Now one thing I want to point out, I'm going to pause this for just a second, is that since this does a non-disruptive upgrade and, and it stops unmanaged and then it re-manages, auto-manages again, this will actually run through your event scripts to find out if stuff's already uh, up and running. Uh, what that means is you either need to have application monitoring running so it knows your application is still running, or and or you need to have a smart start server app script because it will re-execute it at the time of restarting the cluster services with the auto mode. So if your start script isn't very smart, it could actually cause uh, undesired results. So just be aware of that. It's not unique to CLEZ update per se. It's a um, common occurrence anytime you unmanage and then auto manage the cluster again. It just so happens non-disruptive upgrades and CLEZ update utilize that feature. So something to be aware of. Uh, hopefully you don't get uh, bit by it. So the only the only thing that I noticed, uh, you can see here that it's showing my version is updated. I only noticed one small anomaly after performing this update is that my HA level actually reports 723 SP1, but it's not really SP1. The only thing that is at the dot one level um, happened to be the license, the cluster ES license was 723.1, but everything else was 7230. So with that, I'll go ahead and conclude this demo. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email listed at the beginning of this demo or write out the comments below, and I'll try to respond back to you as soon as I can. And as always, thanks for watching.